Hello my friends, welcome to Volshebnik Scale Modeling Studio. In this video I will show military dioramas and vignettes I filmed on Mason show which took place in UFM Arena at 22nd and 23rd of April 2023. This video is sorted by nominations and I put timeline in the video description. I believe it should help with having good overview of what kind of models are placed in each category on nomination. And also it makes it easier to find your model if you was participating in the show. While watching this video, choose your favorite model from each nomination and put it in the comments so we all can see if our choice match. As always, I mark my favorite models with a star sign in front of model caption. By the way, at the end of the video I will share which diorama get award of the best of show, so please watch until the end. I like this one, the guys here are competing by riding down through the dangerous mountain roads, and the one who is last will buy drinks for all. By the way, I did a lot of extra effort to get most of the Arama captions and authors for you. Also, I put a ward into first line right after model name. This helps to see what kind of models get awarded by judge team. You can appreciate my effort of getting all this just by pressing like and subscribe buttons, so please do this now. Teorama is like snapshot from life. You can illustrate whatever you want there and just use your imagination. Diorama usually contains one or several scale models with some main hero. For me, the ultimate purpose of Diorama is to bring up some idea. Make some fun or maybe it is historical reference to some event. Maybe it was real or just your interpretation of or fantasy. It doesn't matter here. It is you who decide. Each year Mason Show beats its own records in terms of model count, and this time they had 3025 models. This means space issues for models, and as you can see some dioramas are literally hide in between, and it was difficult to film those, but I tried my best considering all circumstances. Now a bit of instruction for competition participants. When modelers uh, register models for competition, pair of fields are called city and country. So my dear modelers, I know it's not obvious, but both fields are related to your living place, city and country you are from, not the location of diorama or vehicle origin. Thanks to all modelers who put their model passport on visible place. Model passport is a small piece of paper with model name and numbers which helps to identify model and modeler. And special thanks are to modelers who put the name of the Arama on nameplate right on the Arama basement. In the mess, which sometimes happen on tables, it is easier to find model name on nameplate rather than on model passport. 
I also suggest the fold model passport in a way so it takes less space.
that the Solok have a military vehicle dioramas. But now the question is, which diorama was selected by judges as the best of show? When I asked my friend, he just ran away. But the answer is Winter Relax. Applause goes to Giampiero Bianchi from Italy, who was also selected as master of the show. Congratulations! That's it for now. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss new videos. I will share more videos from Asan Show soon, so you can enjoy those as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.